What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Bobby Hills Outdoors. Today is Sunday. Tomorrow, we're going to start juicing the Monte Carlo up while well, dropping off the suspension. Pete's going to do it. He's going to come and drop off the suspension, reinforce the frame, kind of get it going. Right now, I'm taking the Dayton's off. Like you said, just about two or three weeks ago, we just finished doing all the paint and body to this car, pinstripe and everything, getting ready to go to the show. It went to the show, did not place. But I'm coming. It's all good. I don't go to shows to get trophies anymore anyways, man. I go to just hang out. Don't be wrong, man. It feels good when you get a trophy. Just go to hang out. But I am, I am going to try to get a trophy. I'm not, not going to bullshit you. Uh, really, that's what. It's cool about going to the shows or whatever. But the main thing is catching up with everybody. We're going to hit all the stress points. Pete's going to do all that. Weld all that in. Put a chain bridge. I got telescopics for the back. We got six inch fat cylinders for the front. Everything big, three pump setup, running the Reds. Reds is back. So I called up Reds in uh, California, ordered the three pump setup, and I'm running Ron's Adel dump in the front and his LV image dumps in the back. So I started plumbing the pumps, getting those together, hardlining, first time hardlining. So I've been watching some videos online, everybody that does the hardline videos. Thank you. I've done some a long time ago, but it's been, been so long that probably 20 plus years anyways thanks to y'all for the informational videos that you put out i'm gonna go ahead and start getting the rest the other two dates off this you know it's just g-body until i get my 57 built but i love luxury sport monte carlo my favorite g-body so monty's revenge name of the car anyways reinforced frame all chrome undercarriage we're gonna plate the just gonna do old school just put a couple plates on the rear end, take that to the chrome shop, get it dipped with, along with the drums and stuff like that. Paint the inner fender wells, probably back black. The front ones, I'm gonna do the same color as the car. I don't know if I'm gonna grind this stuff down and maybe hit it with some base clear in there. Uh, same color as the car, I don't know yet. But underneath the frame, stuff's all going semi-gloss black. We're gonna get started on this Monte Carlo, get it juiced up. So I get back to the show. Lowrider Magazine show coming up in August. All right, so I got the Dayton's off, put up in the shop. This is what I'm gonna put on right now i'm gonna tell you i blew the car off the car has been ceramic coated we need to polish it again um, and then re ceramic coated but we were kind of in a rush for the last show but uh, i'll show you what i'm gonna wrap the car with pretty pretty easy and pretty simple so it's called the car condom you can get them online man but i get these from my og tweet over there at king and chevy's in cali to support the cause, man. And dudes are doing good things. So he's multiple. I used to buy these at the paint store a long time ago. Couldn't find them until I saw them on his website called the Car Condom. So works good. It's got elastic around the bottom. It's got a little rip in it. So I'll probably grab another couple of them from him. And I usually, it's sitting out here. It's it's covered in here, but the lights from the bugs get on the car. And I don't like that. So it'll be covered. And then I'll throw, throw a moving blanket on top, kind of lock it down so it can breathe and stuff like that. We'll get it put on and then go from there. All right, car condom is on. See right there. Got it all right. It's front or back, doesn't really matter. No one's a long ways, but it's got elastic all the way around the bottom. Let's come over this way, but covers it up. Shout out to King of Chevy. Boy, they make life easy. With that elastic on the bottom, that car condom. I like it. Keep it safe, keep it clean. No overspray. Then I'm gonna get the moving blanket. Just lay it on top, lock it in. Okay, so I got the moving blanket on it, kind of locked it down. Wind blows real hard, it'll probably blow it off, but I'm gonna probably get a little bit of masking tape put on there. I'll probably get another smaller one put on the hood here. We'll be good to go. I'll come back and tape off the elastic up around the front of the wheels. That's it, that's it for the night. I'll get it raised up a little bit. I've been working all day Sunday on bikes. So I'm about to get home, get a shower, get something to eat, brush my teeth and go to bed. Day two on the Monte Carlo, reinforcing the frame. Uh, Pete came over, I was in the shop, didn't get to record much while he was uh, doing the rear end, but he got it taken apart and he already reinforced it. So we'll take a look at it. So this is the reinforced kit from the bottom from uh, Hoppos. And then we got some uh, some top channel on the top of the rear end. 
with the power balls welded to it. Everything's measured out to line up. We'll get this finished. Uh, well, I think he's finished reinforcing. We just got to pop the bearings out and the hot bushings. I'm going to clean the gas tank up. I'm going to probably see if they got some kind of powder coat. You can do that. I don't know if they got any powder coat for this off. But anyways, I got these bushings from Black Magic, which are pretty cool. Uh, they're kind of like hymes that go on the top. I'm going to run these on the top of the rim. Kind of help it swivel a lot more. Pretty cool. So anyways, we'll get that finished up. Pete's going to finish taking it apart tomorrow. And then I'll get it to the chrome shop probably Friday or Monday. We'll come back to you tomorrow. <laughs> Three weeks later. All right, I'm back with an update on the Monte Carlo. It's been a couple weeks. I had to take a break. I had to build a bike for J. Cole. So that's over with. We're done. We're back onto the Monte Carlo, and parts have been kind of trickling in back from the chrome shop. So you can see on the table here, I got pretty much everything the chrome plate, the whole suspension. Rear end is on the ground right there. So Pete is finished reinforcing the frame. We got that done. Just hitting all the stress points. I pressure washed underneath the car, I painted it all semi-gloss black. My inner fenders are at Juan's at Mobile Auto Color. He's uh, painting them to match the car, the inside and out. And then we'll get those back and get those back together. Show you a little bit of what's going on out there. But it's getting there, just you know, a little bit at a time. Pretty much got everything done. The, the gas tank cover and the spare tire hump cover and the gas tank straps are still at chrome plate, so. We're waiting on those to get those in. I do have a slip yoke that I need to take to the drive shaft shop and have them install it on the drive shaft. Take it to the chrome shop after that, but I think I'm probably gonna wait to get a chrome plate until after the show because the show is coming up pretty quick. Stick around, we'll kind of update you as we go. Hold on, hold on. Gotta keep up with me. Alright. Yeah, it's going to go a lot. It needs to go longer. Just buckle them out. All right, just a little bit of update on the 1987 Monte Carlo. We are making progress. Pete finished reinforcing the frame. Got all the suspension hung, rear end back together, brakes on, A-arms, everything. Pete has been hard at it on the car. Came out great. Today, I'll get a walk around. I know I didn't get a walk around last time. It's just been crazy busy here in the shop. Uh, but I'll get a walk around and we'll get up underneath the car and check out the undercarriage. Still need to get it cleaned up, put some fluid in the rear end, and Pete's going to come back Monday to bleed the brakes. So we'll get that. But Jamie's on the way over. We're going to start on the setup. Uh, rack is already welded in. Pete already did that. We just got to set the batteries, paint everything. Jamie's going to weld some tabs for the solenoids. And then we'll start setting pumps and wiring everything up. See how she looks. Y'all stick around. I've just kind of finished plumbing the pumps up right now. The hard line that I use is a little bit too thin, so um, every time I start, every time I flare it, it splits a little. So I got some better line, um, and then we're, I'll pull these off, reuse these fittings, and uh, replumb all three pumps. So it's not too bad, just a little time consuming. And I'm, I'm finished putting it on, tightening all the pump heads, putting on the 
tanks, backing plates, motors, and uh, motor caps, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm finished plumbing all the pumps and putting them together. I hardlined them all, 3 8 hardline, all chrome fittings. The pumps came disassembled from red. I'm guessing they do that for shipping pur purposes, but blocks and the pump heads were together, so it wasn't that bad. I just had to assemble the motors and the tanks. Of course, you're always gonna have to, you know, put the fittings and all that together. It's been a while since I've uh, assembled some of these, but hey, I got it done. First time doing hard lines, so we'll see how that turns out. So, Jamie's outside working on the, uh, the rack, cleaning it all up, welding in the uh, studs for the solenoids, so. I'll get out there and do a walk around. No, I keep saying I'm gonna do a walk around, but I've just been in here busy building pumps. So these are done. Hopefully they don't leak. I'm sure they're gonna leak a little. So we'll just go back, tighten them up, or re-Teflon wherever it leaks. Like I said, it's been a while. Back on the Monte Carlo, trying to get ready for the show next weekend. Uh, me and Pete measured the drive shaft yesterday for the slip yoke. Took it to the drive shaft shop in town right before five yesterday. Picked it up today. I got it painted, so I'm gonna slide it in the car, see how it works, and uh, go from there. And then get the rear end filled up, uh, get the brakes bled. That should be it. Start cleaning it up. Need to crank the engine, make sure the exhaust is all good and everything, but I'm sure it is. Pete put it all back on, so we're gonna get after it. Or I'm gonna get after it today, and then uh, we'll move on to detailing it up and get ready for the show. Here's the drive shaft right here. Just hit it with a little bit of semi gloss black. Connected to the chrome rear end because it's chrome. And go from there. You see Pete's got all the frame wrapped. Wrapped it all up. I pressure washed the hole underneath, degreased it, taped everything off and hit it with some semi-gloss black. But yeah, all the chrome's on, all the, the A-arms on. How lock up hydraulics, Jamie got the hydraulics going. Everything's wired up, looks good. We'll look at the setup here in a minute. <laughs> Rocks up on my wrist, I got it, take this off my neck. Mix the knives, paint, and I'm jumping in the mix. Rocks up on my wrist, I got it, take this off my neck. Mix the knives, paint, and I'm jumping in the mix. Rocks up on my wrist, I got it, take this off my neck. Mix the knives, paint, and I'm jumping in the mix. Rocks up on my wrist, I got it. All right, YouTube, that is it. That completes the build of the 1987 Monte Carlo LS. You can see uh, we've got it all done. All the hydraulics are done. It was a long journey. I say that we got that we got it juiced in about a month right before lowrider magazine show um you can see in the last video i wanted to upload this video before the last one but we were just really busy and i uh, couldn't do all the editing and stuff like that pete lynch from lynch auto works got down on the framework all the uh, frame reinforcements installed all the chrome suspension and everything like that all the brakes the rear end did everything uh put in the rack and jamie came over once pete got done with all the uh, frame reinforcements and suspension and rack Jamie came over and uh, wired the, the setup up. Great, great job. Tucked all the wires away. Uh, did the hoses in the trunk and stuff like that. So it looks great, Jamie. Uh, shout out to all these guys that uh, got down on this car without a great team. Couldn't do it. So running the, the new Reds mini pumps. So looks great in there. Pulled the front wheel wells out. We sprayed those. Juan at Mobile Auto Color got down on the car. Pablo over there in Austin that does the pinstripe and he got down on the car. We got it to Lowrider Magazine last weekend. It took first place in a mile, so that was good. You know, for the first time out, I'll take that. Lowrider Magazine's a hard show to place in. Uh, I was having some drive shaft issues when I went to Jefferson Boulevard last week to the cruise. It fell out, we got it back in. We cruised down the strip one time. Jamie took his car, cruised down. Jefferson had a good time. Anyways. That's it. We do have a new series coming to the channel. It's going to be like kind of a sit down podcast. We have some guests already lined up for the Texas lowrider scene. So, you know, some of these important individuals and we'll try to get to a lot of people that, that have kind of made a mark in the Texas lowrider scene, but we will be doing that. That's coming soon. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You don't want to miss out on that. 
uh, a lot of lowrider talk, what's going on here in Texas, and uh, just a bunch of bunch of cool stuff coming up. Y'all, like I said, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this video. Hit the little bell notification. It'll let you know next time I upload a new video. And you won't miss what's going on over here at Bobby Hills Outdoors. Peace.